Now, I haven't unboxed a whole lot of memory on my show in general, and there is a reason for that. Uh, so first of all, actually, I should start with my intro. I'm going to be unboxing a Mushkin Blackline kit of memory today. So this features their Ascent heat spreaders, and that is one of the key differentiating factors, which leads me to why I don't really unbox a whole lot of memory. There's not much to it. You find a good, reputable manufacturer that offers good support. Mushkin, in this case, offers lifetime warranty on all of their memory sticks. Then it comes down to a few key things. You get the right kind of memory. So if you have a DDR2 system, you buy DDR2, DDR3, DDR3, and so on and so forth. Then you got your capacity. This is a 2x2 two two gig or 4 gig kit, and so you can actually find that along with capacity, one of the ways you increase capacity is to have more sticks. So you might have a dual channel kit with two sticks, or you might have a triple channel kit with three sticks. Depends what kind of a system you're running. So memory comes down to voltage and speed. That's pretty much it. So a kit that runs at a reasonable voltage and runs at a good speed, and that speed can be both in megahertz as well as in terms of timing. Uh, one general rule that you can use when you're picking out a memory kit is that every speed bin increase in the frequency of the RAM. So that means if you go from PC2 6400 up to PC2 8500 is worth the same as about across the board, a one reduction in the latency. So a PC2 6400 C4 kit is about equivalent to a PC2 8500 C5 kit, which is what we have here today. Wow, that was a long intro. I'm terribly sorry. Why don't we just have a closer look at these modules and then we will be on our way. So first of all, the back of the box has uh, instructions on how to install Mushkin memory. Watch closely and then thumbs up, win. Okay, awesome. So let's get the box open. Okay, and the first module. I love their Ascent heat spreaders. I mean, these things are actually like, they're heavy. They have some real weight to them, even though they're made out of uh, aluminum. So you can look down the heat spreader so you can see that the fins actually go up quite high from the top of the module. Now these aren't like Corsair Dominators in that there's actually another level of PCB that goes up higher than the module, so they're not quite as high profile and they're going to have overall better compatibility with most motherboards and coolers as a result of that. Now, um, why don't we turn it around to the side so you can see there's a nice brushed aluminum finish on the heat spreader itself. You got a little sticker there telling you that your warranty is void if you remove it. Oh, it doesn't even say that. Well, your warranty is void if you remove it, and it also tells you the speed that your module is running at as well as the latency. So that means that if you ever get confused, you can just check right on the side of your module and you can set the appropriate settings in the BIOS. Now if you actually look down into the, I don't know if you can see that or not, but if you look kind of into the module, you can see that there's actually a, um, a copper layer under the aluminum. So that's where you're going to get some of the cooling from this particular uh, heat spreader. I believe the Ascents use like a vapor chamber design in order to get maximum cooling for the module. So why don't I just grab the other one, just for the sake of completeness and showing it to you together. And that pretty much concludes my unboxing of the Mushkin Blackline PC2 8500 4 gig C5 RAM kit. Now this is going to be kind of an overall unboxing of their Ascent heat spreader, so take it for what it is. And these guys just get into everything. Look at this.